How does this mechanical basketball shooting arm from my last video actually work? Well, it's made up of three different mechanisms. Let's start with the four bar linkage, which is connected to the motor through this link. As the motor rotates the link up, the four bar linkage allows this link to remain parallel to this link. Next is the inverse four bar linkage. It's called inverse because this link crosses through this link. And as it rotates, this upper link moves inversely to this lower link. And that brings us to the compound gear train. The main goal for this arm was to mimic an actual basketball shot, which meant a full follow through of the wrist. That's why I'm an engineer. The gear train serves two distinct benefits. The first is that it allows the arm to actually go through this range of motion. The total gear ratio here is 2.6 to one. So that means that to get the arm to rotate a full 180 degrees, this link only needs to rotate 67 degrees. The second benefit is this adds a little bit of speed to the scoop. Because of the 2.6 to one gear ratio, the scoop is moving 2.6 times faster than the activating link. And that allows us to add a little bit of flick to the ball, giving it some backspin and giving it some range. 